All right, another day in the life. Today we're about to go do some hiking, and while we're doing some hiking, we are going to talk mindset. As I drive, I'm always like rehearsing a new mental program that I want to install into my noggin. And I find that while I'm driving, it's one of the best times programmed to mind because you're focused on the road, which means that your subconscious is wide open, you know, because you're extremely focused on the road. And so while I'm focused on the road with my conscious mind, I just start playing around with my subconscious mind, you know, repeating those thoughts over and over again until until they become logged into my automatic nervous system. It's one of the easiest ways to program the mind. You know, while you're focused on something else, you subconsciously start working with it. So literally repeating those thoughts over and over and over and over and over and over again. Because this world is just the world. But if you if you think about it, we're telling ourselves a story about the world all day long. And we're telling ourselves a story about ourselves all day long as well. Telling ourselves a story about the world, telling ourselves a story about ourselves. It's like, why not become conscious about that process and tell yourself the story you want to tell about yourself. So right now, as I'm going to my destination, I'm literally making up the story in my mind. It's, that's power. The universe is always leading you towards your highest good, even when you can't consciously see it, even when it appears as if all hell is breaking loose, you are being guided towards your highest good. And when you really know that, it causes you to trust the process. It gives you the courage to get out on the leading edge of what you previously believed to be possible. It causes you to dream bigger. It causes you to take bigger risks. And it causes you to develop a keen sense of awareness for everything that is around you. When you ask for something better and when you take action that is in harmony with that vision that you've asked for, it won't be long until you are living what you have asked for. The only problem we have as humans is we have to get out of our own way and we have to dream bigger. Dreaming bigger than we ever dreamed before. What if today, what if today was the day that you decided to break free from your old story and redefine your future? Join me at mindmastersociety.com. Yo, know, one, one thing I want y'all to know that I'm not talking at you. I'm talking with you, right? I don't want everyone to feel like I'm coming from a place of, you know, perfection. I am learning every day just like you, learning to trust more, learning to think bigger, stretching myself beyond where I currently am, going beyond my comfort zone. That's what mastery is about. It's not a destination. It's a practice. It's a daily practice. You're walking the walk every single day. 
I don't hang around a lot of people. And the reason why I don't hang around a lot of people is because a lot of people have not done the work that it takes to hang around a person like me. Because I have do, done the work, and not only have I done the work, I continue to do the work every single day. And what is the work? The work is the inner work. You see, there's something about going inside of yourself, meditating, contemplating, working on your mindset, that gives you another sense, okay? This other sense is a combination of emotional intelligence, a combination of mental intelligence, spiritual intelligence, and also a combination of intuitive intelligence. It's a superpower combined that causes you to see through people. And when you work on yourself long enough, you're developing this skill or this gift, if you will, of seeing through people because you've also harnessed the ability to see through yourself. You are able to see through your own baloney, your own BS. And when you're able to see through your own BS, you're able to see through the BS of other people, even when other people are not even aware that they even have BS. It makes you super sensitive. Putting in the work for transformative success is crucial. And I don't mean just going out there grinding. I'm talking about putting in the work on yourself. Here I am at Tallulah Falls in the great state of Georgia. And we're all the way up here at the top. And as you can see, there's not many people up here at the top. And the same is true for life. As you continue to work on yourself day and night, as you continue to develop yourself, as you continue to get clear about where you want to go and who you must become in order to go where you want to go, you're going to notice that a lot of people that are not meant to experience a higher version of yourself are going to fall away. And I'm here to let you know that that's okay. It's okay. All you got to do is continue to work on yourself and you will come across other individuals just like you that are headed in a very similar direction. Controlling your mind is one of the most crucial things you must learn to master if you are going to ever be the best version of yourself. And for me, controlling my mind is like a sport. And it doesn't matter how young you are, it doesn't matter how old you are, you can definitely control your mind. But you have to do it day and night. You have to make it a way of life. Master yourself. <laughs>